So you've been diagnosed with ADHD and you got prescribed Adderall and you've been taking it, right Kai? <laughs> no. Why? Well, buckle up ladies and gentlemen because I'm about to teach you about how the United States healthcare system is very interesting. So I've been seeing somebody and by seeing somebody I mean a therapist and a psychiatrist and a doctor, all of whom are able to say that my brain is not working the way that it's supposed to work. The person that is able to diagnose and prescribe me things, you know, like medicine, to help me with these things in my brain, it's been no issue up until recently. Earlier this year, that person diagnosed me with high anxiety and severe depression, and I was prescribed Wellbutrin, and I was able to pick up that prescription with absolutely no problem. The same person is the person that diagnosed me with ADHD, and I was like, oh, cool, well, I'm being prescribed Adderall, so it should be a similar situation, right? Oh, no, because it, it didn't, didn't work out that way. So here's the thing. I live in state A, and my doctor lives in state B. My doctor was licensed in state A, but they're no longer licensed in state A, which means that they are not able to legally give me the prescription that, that I need anymore. Because their license literally expired the moment that they diagnosed me. Yay. No, like seriously, I was one day late one day. So my doctor was like, hey, don't worry about it. I wrote down all of your information. I'm going to give your information to a colleague of mine, and that colleague is going to be able to go through everything with you again and give you the medicine that you need. You don't have to worry about going through all this bullshit again. I was like, okay, no problem. That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Let's make an appointment with your colleague. Let's get some Adderall in my body because because I need it. So I make an appointment with the, with the colleague, and I'm all excited because my appointment is, is for uh, a weekday morning at 7 a.m. I wake up nice and early, take a shower, get ready for my day. Uh, I sit down to have this appointment and um, and they, they don't show up. That colleague of theirs, they ghosted me, just like my last three girlfriends. So now my information is passed on to another colleague and they're gonna take my uh, stuff now, right? Nope, I make an appointment with them, I have the appointment and they say, hey, you're, uh, you're an old person, your original therapist, they can just get a, an emergency extension on their license and they can just prescribe you your stuff, okay? Sure, yeah, let's get my original person their emergency license so I can Stop staying up at night crying about how I'm going to survive life. That was a couple weeks ago, and uh, I have yet to be able to get back in contact with my original person, my original, my original prescriber. So here I am, officially diagnosed legally with ADHD, and and no um, nothing to to help it because the thing that I'm supposed to be taking I can't get legally right now because the person can't prescribe it legally to me. So yay. Shit.